I just do not understand how Gary Lineker gets such special treatment at the BBC. It makes no sense to me. Hi, me again. And something we've talked about on this channel before, and many of you agree with me down in the comments, is how is Gary Lineker the highest earning person at the BBC? Was it 1.3 million quid a year he gets? Do you not think that's absolutely ridiculous? You know, there's newsreaders that do eight hour days, that five days a week, that earn half what he earns for talking about football twice a week with his mates sitting on a sofa. It doesn't make any sense. And he gets such special treatment at the BBC as well. You know, you're not allowed to do advertising and stuff like that with an image you've gained from the BBC. That's why Nick Knowles got into trouble. And Gary Lineker could go do all the ads he wants. All the ads he wants, there's no problem at all. He does loads of stuff. He works for other channels as well. He's got an open contract to let him go and work wherever he wants. How is he getting such special treatment? And there was a thing on Twitter last week. He put a tweet out, I'll show you. He put, put this tweet out, look, as a politician, how could you ever, under any circumstances, bring yourself to vote for pumping sewage into our seas? Unfathomable. So yeah, I don't care about that tweet particularly, it means nothing to me. But he was replied to on Twitter by a colleague, uh, Neil Henderson, who said, do you have the freedom to tweet about this sort of thing because you have a different contract to mine? Because I'd be sacked if I did. And uh, Lineker came back saying, well, he's not on news and politics and all of that, and he can say whatever he wants. And the BBC bosses apparently, apparently, asked this Neil Henderson to apologise by Twitter, and he put this out, look, I'd like to apologise for earlier tweets which I've now deleted, responding to Gary Lineker, blah, blah, blah. How is Lineker getting such special treatment? Why is he being mollycoddled by the BBC? You know, the, if I put my tin foil hat on, I'd say he's got some dirt on someone there. I don't know, but have a look at this, look. Director General Tim Davey told the Parliamentary Select Committee on Digital Culture, Media and Sport he backed Lineker and argued he worked within BBC guidelines. Mr Davies said, I've talked to Gary. He has sent thousands of tweets and overall the behaviour in terms of where he is, is in a lot better state. That conversation goes on. BBC Director General insisted the BBC was doing a pretty good job of maintaining impartiality. He just gets special treatment, doesn't he? He's the highest paid one there and I don't understand it because does anybody watch Match of the Day? because it's Gary presenting it. Would you still watch Match of the Day, for instance, if you could, if you got a telly licence? If it was someone else, some other footballer presenting it on 100k a year, who would be happy to do it to be on the telly again, right? Would that change you watching Match of the Day? I don't think it would. I don't think it would matter at all. And the BBC could be over a million quid up, which as a publicly funded organisation should be an important factor to them. I just don't get how he's protected. So BBC journalist Neil Henderson apologised after he questioned Gary Lineker's impartiality following his tweet about sewage. I'm very supportive of Gary. I think he's a brilliant presenter and it's a work in progress in terms of where he draws the line. But we've had a good conversation and I think he understands the guidelines. Lineker will tweet what he wants and says what he wants because he thinks he owns the place. Maybe he does. Maybe he secretly does. I don't know. I don't know. I just think it's weird how he's so protected. I think it's weird how he earns so much money. I don't understand it. I wish someone from the BBC could explain to me how he's worth 1.3 million quid a year and be allowed to work on other channels and to do adverts and to tweet about what he wants and say what he wants when other BBC people cannot do the same thing. It doesn't make a lot of sense. That's what I'm trying to say. So what do you think about all this then? Do let me know in the comments below. I know where most of you stand on Gary Lineker. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think about how he gets away with this and how he's getting special treatment down in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because that way, hopefully, I'll see you in another video again soon, my love. Ta-da.